to Whiteland Restorations. Something a bit different this week. Again. Again. <laughs> different we're always every doing something week. different, aren't we? <laughs> anyway, this is um, a Renault 5 Cup car, which is pretty damn cool, wasn't it? Look it at that. It is cool. The genuine race car from the 80s. It doesn't get any more high vis than this, does it? <sighs> it is popping. Absolutely popping. It certainly stands out. Um, anyway, so it's in for a little bit of work. The, unfortunately, because it's rear-engined, you have to tow it backwards when it's on an open trailer. Normally it goes on an enclosed trailer, but yeah. this time it there, was, there was an accident with the enclosed trailer. Now it's yeah. no more. Um, but, so it was towed with an outside trailer and the, this came off in a nice way. <laughs> broke and damaged a few other bits and bobs. So we've got to fix this um, and get it back on. Something else though. Something else. Turns out this is not Alan Prost's car. I know. Such a shame. They were so when, when I did it a few years ago, um, they were so adamant because all the other cars, apart from two, had been discovered. Yeah. And this, unfortunately, was not Alan Prost's car. He was so sure, but because um, when Lewis painted it, he lacquered over the stickers, so yeah. we are going to have to very carefully remove them and try and just try and fix it so it looks like they weren't there. Yeah, I'd like to not damage the whites if yeah. I can, so I can just remove them. We're not going to be putting stickers underneath lacquer again this no. time. We'll be putting them on top. I think the just owners will look their lessons yeah. with putting stickers under lacquer. It's very nice. It gives a very nice smooth finish and the stickers look really cool. It lasts for ages. But um, it's not so easy when something uh, isn't quite right. No. So the job list for this is fix these stickers, fix that spoiler, <sighs> We have got a replacement spoiler, we might paint that. Yeah, I think we will use that instead. We'll that. use that instead. Uh, and Just we've got it, to match the colours. Yeah, match the colours um, and get it out. I've still got some of the orange I used for this, but it's seven years ago now, so we'll have to do some mm, testing to make sure yeah. that's okay. But we do have some other orange as well, thanks to... Uh, IPS. Yeah. IPS. IPS. They're, they're our main suppliers, they're amazing. They are only ever a phone call away and I'm sure Dom is sick of me ringing him, <laughs> asking for things. Free hats. <laughs> free, free hats for the day. Them free cups, Dom. <laughs> but no, seriously, with these fluorescent paints, it is, it's quite tricky. They fade, don't they? They do, but this has been kept in, indoors. Since it's been it's, painted. It's an indoor car, so. Yeah. It's been looked after very well. We shall see what the colour situation is like. So, yeah. shall we get it in the booth? Decal removing time. Sorry, Mr. Prost, but you're in the bin. <laughs> um, first, actually, we've got to take the um, sporty ring mirror off. Sporty ring mirror. Involves two types of screwdrivers. One to take out this screw here. I can't see what I'm doing because there's a camera in the way. There we go. Ooh, very nice. Don't forget there's a little funny metal tab in there. Mm. Is that like a spring? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it's a spring. Then there's just two more screws holding it onto the door. Beautiful. Nice and simple. Not like modern ring mirrors, eh? No. No, no wiring. No wiring. <laughs> now if you have a look at these letters, you'll be able to see that they are underneath the lacquer. Goes over it. It makes them last really long, but it's a bit of a pain when you've got to take them off. Same method for the rest of it. What's the first step? So, because they're cleared over, I think first step will be to just sand off some of the clear so we can access the sticker and then try and pick them out the hole. And then we'll have to try and flat back the lacquer to the... Um, White. Well, till it's flat, really. We we'll see how, let's see how much damage we make, flat, yeah. Well, we've got the colours, fortunately, so if we need to, we'll... Touch up. Yeah, let's protect where we don't want to... Make a mess first. Right, there we go. Super. What grit are we starting with? Um, a bit of Merca Uridium 240, just to knock the lacquer off, 
and so we could pick up that. Oh, go on then, let's have a look at this. Sorry, Mr. Prost. Days are numbered. Days are numbered. That's the latter, the clear coat. Just getting knocked back. Yep, starting to go through. Can you see it? Let's see the way it's looking different around the arc there. Can you see it's looking different? Yeah, it's looking different. It's like a shadow almost, isn't it? Yeah, that means we're through the lacquer. There we go. So we've got through there. Um, I'm going to use a metal filler spreader because they're really good at this job, actually. Find somewhere to pick it. Oh, look at that. Right, sorry, my fat fingers. Super delicate not to dig in, but just to yeah. get that sticker off. Oh, he's coming. Mm. Oh. Look at that. Pretty darn easy. There well, we go. One down. One down. All these ones to go. So yeah, that's just... um. Stick this on a tripod. Stick that on a tripod and we'll smash through this lot. Crack on. Smash. picking the stickers off you can clearly see where they were there is like a shadowing in the clear coat it goes matte where the sticker was a bit shiny where the clear coat was we're gonna have to get rid of all this and get it all get all the clear off nice and flat nice and flat but before we do that yeah we've got to get the residue the, the remaining residue the, hold on, the oh, glue wow. yeah before we do all that we've got to get the remaining residue of the glue remaining, remaining? Remaining. So I say remaining more. Uh, the glue anyway, remains. It, it remains on the paint here. If you see the remains here, the remaining. Look at that remaining that, remains. Oh man, that one, that's remaining on an R. Oh. That's, that's it, like Inception. Anyway, um, industry clean from <laughs> Worth. You look like Great you're in a shopping channel. <laughs> Hello, look at this. <laughs> it is good stuff. It is good stuff. Fair completely place. not endorsed by these worthies no. but that is worth it that spray some stuff is worth it <laughs> some stuff is this worth it. is particularly worth it it smells lovely it's one well. of the few things that smell nice in the, in the workshop other than myself <laughs> <laughs> but it just does a great job we do it do a close-up of one do this flag i'll get a nice close-up of this okay. flag Ready? The flag hole. So. <laughs> um, Look at that. Just does a good job. It's really hard to pick it up on camera, but it's not. Oh, it's quite fun. It needs more soaking in. But it took the rest of it off in yeah. with a breeze. Sticker residue. Sticker gone. Sticker residue gone. There's loads of other like goo gone and stuff, but we find this industry clean. Just amazing. Start off quite coarse. We're going to use a smirker iridium, but we're going to go for 180 grit. Uh, that will help us just flatten this off as fast as we can.
Right, now all the stickers are off. Um, we've done the snowback racing, um, the names on the doors, the flags on the doors, and the snowback racing on the front. Stickers Bumper. are removed. Stickers are gone. Yeah. So we're moving on to the first of the repairs. So um, this is obviously you can see where I painted down to the spoiler before, and because the spoiler was bonded to the car, well I thought it was. Um, so yeah, so we're going to have to smooth all this out, all this this harsh edge. Oh, done. It's right through. That's, that's a nice harsh edge. But if there was any doubt that this was. This, this wasn't the um, Renault Cup car with the Marlborough stripes on it. If you look here, you can see a piece of the original paint. Look at that! That was underneath, and there's more of it here. Big chunk there. Nice big chunk. So that's, you can see that's oh, underneath I'm, everything. Can I touch your ETs? Yeah. <laughs> so, um... That's pretty cool, isn't it? This, this it's is pretty genuine, cool. this, this is, no doubt. It's a genuine cut car. Um, anyway, that's that's You've got to uh, get that's, that that's smoothed lovely. out. Otherwise, I just got to smooth that yeah. out, and uh, we're going to get some primer on it ASAP. We've also got to smooth out these corners here and here. I kind of quite like these, really. They are like little horns. Yeah. Oh right, yeah. No, you can't see it. I can see it. Little devil horns. Little backwards devil horns. Yeah, I suppose we've got to put it back to how it should be. Yeah. Going to fix these. Um, Nibbles. Right then. Chop Processes up. are sand it with some 180 till it's smooth, then prime it. Sand it, prime it. First thing, guys, we better protect anything we don't want to scratch. So let's just put some tape on the roof because I don't want to scratch the roof. Very good, I'm about to be finished, just smoothing this bit out in here. It's the next day in the workshop. Yeah, and gluing went well this season. <laughs> <laughs> now the spoiler is on. You can wiggle it, it doesn't come off. Bonded. Um, but when you pull it back, it, there's a little gap come forms there. So we're gonna, we're gonna pull it back, fill it with sealer, squish it up, smooth it all out nicely. And put some primer on it and put some primer on the front splitter because um, gone through a couple of layers of paint. Stickers are probably a bit, because it's a shape, isn't it? It's a shape. 
Yeah. Yeah. No. It yeah. Was, it was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was me. Do you know what we need to do? Get on with it. Take this boot lid off. We do need to take the boot lid off. It's got wires. Are they functional? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. So we're going to take the boot lid off. It's going to be simple. It's going to be a few um, French clips. So at first I thought we'd just take it off from here. Yeah. But that seems to be a solid rivet. Ah, oh, right. And then okay. I thought we'd take it off from here, where these bolts are. Yeah. But that seems to be a rivet. Oh. <laughs> Which is so strange. It's not bolts behind here, it's is it? It's bolts behind there, but if you do this, oh, it's got a little cover and you can access. It's got right. a little modesty pouch over its rear cover. So well, Let's just take the whole hinge off then. We'll take the boot lid off from there. Right, hold on. Let's have a look at these uh, oh, washer the tubes. Ones. Right, can you see an easy join there? It's probably not connected. It's probably behind this panel here. That's quite... Um... Right, put the camera down. We'll investigate. Disconnect these wires. Disconnect the washer tube. Get the rear um, hinge disconnected and Bob's your uncle. I'd rather not, but yeah, we kind of have to, don't we? I think we have to. Aye. All right. Right then, tripod time. Yeah. Boop. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. What happens to your dog? Look at her, she's broken. Here she comes. What are you doing? Oh, I've got one of them. 